Hey guys, David here again with another little quick speed painting. Uh, this one just having a bit of fun. Calling it the giant in the mist. It's uh, I just had about 30 minutes and there was an idea in my head that I just wanted to get out and just portray. I just wanted to show a large character in the distance. Uh, I didn't want to spend too long on it. I just wanted to get the idea out of my head. So there was hardly any sketching involved. It was just literally throwing some colours down throwing the characters in and just trying to clean it all up you will notice in the video that the uh, the layout is like a thumbnail and it's just small it's an A3 size canvas and I think it's about 350 uh, dpi and what you'll find is that I try to keep it small just so I can just throw color, large amounts of colors on I can just keep it simple and if it works it works if it don't work then it just gets thrown into a, a save folder but it's just to get ideas out there, just so whatever's in your head, it's just easy to get out. I'm not going to go in with any detail. I'm not going to try and like finesse every tree line and every branch on it just yet. It's just to throw some values on it, just get my, my idea out of my head and hopefully be a bit happier with it. And then probably take it further. Uh, I might do another video in the future where I actually do take one of these concepts further, but for now, a lot of the videos I'm going to be producing at this point now are just the idea videos, just stuff that that's in my head and I just want to get out a little bit more. It's a bit weird trying to do a voiceover while watching your your video back and seeing some of the stuff what you would change and some of the stuff what you would add differently. Uh, watching this I, I actually do like the way I'm working on it. Uh, I would just change a lot more of the composition, uh, change the sizing of the characters and probably go a bit more wider on, on the actual canvas but like I said before, it's just an A2, uh, A3 two, A canvas and it's just there to have a bit of fun with. I've never been one of them people where I keep a line. So if I put a line down and I feel like, oh, that's the perfect line. And then I delete it or I edit it and I'm I'm, I'm crying about that line. Uh, I've never been that type of person. If I throw a line down, I don't mind removing it and trying to do it again. If I never get it the same way, I never get it the same way. But I'm never going to try to save lines if I if I delete something or get the lasso tool and stretch something out I know with Photoshop which is a lot easier than using your sketch pad is you can always morph images you can always stretch them you can always drag them around and one thing I do like about sketching in Photoshop over my canvas uh, actual sketchbooks is I can make a mistake and it's just so simple to sort it out if eyes are too close together I can just use the lasso tool and just separate them a bit more if my proportions ain't right i can just control alt z and take it back a few steps uh, <laughs> unfortunately you cannot do that on a sketchbook and it's probably the most annoying thing about trying to do, uh, draw traditionally uh, but it's also one of them things that probably makes you a lot better and something i need to do a lot more uh, you'll find a lot more of our sketch stuff on our instagram which is at the day night studio so please, we, we need Instagram followers and we need Instagram uh, comments just to let us know where we're going. So please, if you're on Instagram, why not check us out? Let us know what you think of our content and, you know, it'd be great to hear from you. It'd be great to great to get some comments from people. It'd be nice to find out what, what people think of what we're producing and what we can produce in the future to make people like it, want to watch our stuff. So if you watch this and you feel there's something that you would like to see us try to do, uh, there's not just myself, there's Leona as well. She's more of the writer, so if there's certain words, phrases, poems, she is into all of that. I'm more into the sketching stuff, uh, animation, character creation, um, scenery landscapes and programming. <laughs> One thing I wanted to avoid with this painting as well was uh, avoiding too many muddy colours. If you mix too many greens together, you get very muddy colours. But what's really cool about mixing muddy colors together or dark tones together is you can create some really cool high, um, values by adding a few highlights into it. Uh, and one thing you'll probably find a lot is monster creation is very easy to make monsters with dark tones and then throwing highlights into it. That might be a video I might do in the future and probably try and turn it into a little tutorial of, of that might be some what people might be into. Uh, try and create a little. Um, horror character or a little uh, monster and just try and just use tonal values in the grey range it's kind of one of my preferred tonal ranges altogether anyway so it'll be great to just 
have a bit of fun and just see what I can actually come up with with just grey tones. In this one, you can actually see I'm actually brightening up the character now um, and trying to like bring out the the greens in her leaf costume and figure out how I can actually make her stand out in a dark area while keeping the um, color of the light at her. So the direction of the light is actually facing towards her and from slightly above to the right. So I need to make sure that everything on the left hand side of her is dark. But obviously if there's bounced lights or if there's any mirrored light falling from somewhere else, it's going to affect her outfit and affect uh, her appearance on the canvas. But at the same time, I don't want to go too detailed on this sketch. It's just literally 30 minutes, get out everything I can get out, show my scenery, show what I want to capture and move on to the next image. Just move on to something different. Don't stay on the image too long. Uh, if I did stay on the image a lot longer, I can put in an extra 100 hours and try and turn it photorealistic. But it's something that I... For, for this, I just wanted to get the idea out and maybe have an idea of where to go with it next or if there's a, a further scene from where it is, what could be in that scene, what could be happening in the next area of it. So if she turns around to the left, what could be on the left-hand side of that tree? If she looked to the right, what could be on the right-hand side? And it just kind of like gives me ideas of what this world actually has and what this world has to offer the character. I always try to think from the character's perspective um what is the character doing why is that character there what is the story behind that character and that allows me to kind of like tell the story of my image and it also allows people to create their own stories by just looking at my images as i was saying before i'm not afraid to get rid of lines so what you'll find in this video especially now is i chop lines that i've already had there before what i thought was okay originally as I look back after a certain few, after a period of time, it's it just don't feel right, and it, I decide to change it up and move things around and edit it, and just don't keep things if they don't feel comfortable at first. Just keep moving things, keep going forward. Don't be afraid to to edit and chop your your images. I think that's one of the biggest things I actually learnt um, from David Casson, who's an awesome artist. Uh, and when he throws tones down, he doesn't. He's not afraid to go over his tone, so if he makes a mistake with a tone, he just goes over it and over it and over it until he gets it right. And that's one of the things what I've kind of like picked up from a few of his tutorial videos. And it's one thing I've tried to implement into all of my my designs where if I throw something down, I'm not going to be afraid to edit it or tweak it or stretch it because I know I can always do the same thing again. Or if I can't do that again, I'd have to do something different and try and uh, set the tone up the way I need it to. Okay, so um, I think I've been recording for about eight minutes and it's so hard to kind of think of words while watching your own um, your own artwork being played back and I'm kind of watching it and thinking, oh, wow, if I tweak this or have I done that, if I come back to it now or if I go back over it, but then you're kind of thinking, how can I actually describe this artwork with the words what, I, what I'm trying to say while watching it? And it's, it's a lot harder than I actually thought it would be. I thought I'd just be able to get on here and, you know, one or two takes and it's done. But this is probably about the third or fourth take I've actually had. And, uh, well, not had, but third or fourth take I've actually cut into. Where I'm, I'm trying to keep everything raw and I'm trying to keep everything visual and uh, just say what's on my mind and just say it as things have been uh, portrayed on screen. And it's a lot harder to actually think of words while things are... Uh, I've been played in front so I think I might have to uh, come to a point where I end it so if you manage to watch it to this point um, thank you thank you so much and I hope you liked it and if you did please let me know in the comments what you think if you managed to make it to the end of this video give yourself a tap on the back I hope I didn't bore you too much uh, but if you like this video please slap that like button silly it would be great to actually see if uh, if you guys liked it and please why not subscribe tick that little bell button and hopefully we're going to be putting out a lot more content this year so it'd be great to uh, have people let us know and stay following us and just keeping us updated on where we can take our, our brand and where we can take our actual game so please follow along it would be great to hear from you and thanks so much for watching this video and hopefully the new one will be out soon as well